Hello Indonesia. My name is Yako Manhua. I am the participant of Mahasiswa Berprestasi 2015, represent Samratulang University of Manado. And now I want to describe to all of you about my scientific paper with the title Self Healing Concrete as the most of cutting edge innovation in the world of concrete construction. As we know that in Indonesia, there are so many buildings use concrete as the main materials of the construction. Why? Because concrete has a high compressive strength with a low cost construction support. That's the reason why concrete always used in every construction in Indonesia. However, concrete has a shortcoming as well. The one thing that is mostly prevented in every planning design is the formation of cracks. When the cracks happen, so the value of compression strength will be decreased. And then if the maintenance is not applied, so the crack will be keep on expanding and there will be downfall. So that's the problem. We need a solution to solve this problem. In 2009, a latest innovation for the first time discovered a new innovation in the world of concrete construction was self-healing concrete. An innovation of which concrete is able to recover itself when cracks are formed after an earthquake or overloads by building structures. For example, let's see the column of this building structure. If there's a crack in here, and I want you to imagine the crack will repair itself. It's amazing, isn't it? The innovation was discovered along the developing of science and technology, where a self-healing concrete used a specific additional substance mixed with the main substance of concrete making, such as cement, aggregate and also water. There are some studies by experts about this innovation. They are first, Professor Victor Lee used engineer cement composite, poured with cement based sealing agent, which was injected through a vascular system that was set before, then it will fill the gaps formed by cracks. Therefore, it increased the concrete strength. The second, Mitchell from University of Rhode Island used a microcapsule filled with the recovery agent formed by sodium silicate to the concrete. Then it would be reacted with calcium hydroxide in the inside. Then it will be repair the cracks and fill the pores. The third, Professor Eric from University of Delft used a steel fiber mixed with the asphalt. The steel would rapidly melt through an induced heating, so it would cover the pores as soon as the heat induction was formed around it. The fourth, a student of Newcastle University used a bacteria engineer experiment which was able to find cracks on concrete and then it will produce calcium carbonate and a short kind of bacteria glue that would put synergy with bacteria's filament cell. So, it was able to recover the cracks of the concrete. The innovation was implemented on a real project by Professor Eric. He tested in on a 400 meters long highway A58 Avenue in Netherlands on December 2010. And the result is very good because the road could hold on its best condition for two seasons. Therefore, it came to a less maintenance cost expanded by the local authorities. From the explanations above, self-healing concrete is seemingly promising benefits for the construction. You can just imagine the crack on the concrete will repair itself. It certainly contributes to a less even zero maintenance of cost value. Talking more about uh, cutting edge innovation which promises uh, significant benefits, in my opinion, I think self healing concrete appears to gain less attention and still less known in the Indonesia 
especially in the fields of concrete construction. The one of problems here is the limited possibility of students to explore and developing the idea moreover. At this point, we are talking about the limited numbers of required experimental tools in provided to do the research. So, this is our responsibility as a young educated individuals to encourage ourselves to discover any similar innovation supported by affordable and eco-friendly materials so that it will widely implement it in our country Sunday. I think this innovation is very recommended to be used in the future. Considering the benefits, I think government must be implemented this innovation in our country, Indonesia. Okay, everyone, that's all my explanations about my scientific paper. I hope you can enjoy my explanation and goodbye.